Okay, already Alicia said yes. I mean, we thought, okay, if we're going to come back to Thursday nights, our original hometown with Sam Cam and Mike Cam, and you never had a nickname, Bri, but my wonderful Brian, who created the jump start that everybody else does now, um, we knew we, uh, here he is, okay, we got to get the, there it is. If anybody comes out and does Jane's Jam, I'm literally going to cry. But this is the moment to embrace a shoe. When I saw this in the lineup, I thought, wait a minute, wait, what? And then I looked at how many we had to go around and I was really bummed out. So run for this shoe. It's called Satire. It is brand new. It's on a block heel that's two and an eighth inches, which is so secure and fabulous. And then you get the beautiful look of a very elevated, expensive, ladylike loafer with a sling back that's adjustable. And look how they even covered the buckle with the leather. Should we do colors? We really should do colors because this shoe is gorgeous. I have. I did not know this was coming in. I think the day we did the shoe shopping preview was a uh, Friday that I was away. So I never even got to see these before earlier today, and I was literally freaking out. And um, it's limited. The five easy payments are leaving us at the end of the day. And how comfortable are these, Alicia? I know. So the first one is black, and it's all black. And I love the fact that there's no metal on this. So you can wear your silver or your gold or anything. Monica is here from our friends at Bionic. Do you know we have my two favorite foot Heads in the show, my favorite athletic and my favorite flip flop. So, like, I'm so happy. I just slipped on cobalt blue and it's gorgeous. Next to that, we have wine. And, you know, that is something you could wear with browns. You could wear with, um, like, uh, like Hawaiian prints and tropical prints. But then wait till you see Alicia in this white. Let's do a size chart. And I'm imploring you, we are already losing sizes especially black and cobalt, they're going very quickly. Now, even though we had a European size chart before, we always say, make sure you're looking for the one, for the brand, and honestly, even the shoe that we're selling. Oh my gosh, this is so comfortable, I literally wanna tear up. So, I'm a seven, I'm never a six and a half, but I'm wearing the 37 and it's super comfortable. But if you're a seven and you're sometimes a seven and a half, you kinda teeter between the two, then you could try the 38, this is adjustable. I mean, with my outfit, look how cute this cobalt is, Look with a Alicia's outfit, look how cute the white are. And you know what it is? It's like that, yay, I'm finally going places. Wow, I actually have things to do and places to go. And um, my daughter's birthday's coming up and not a lot of us will be together on her birthday. So it's like, okay, what are we gonna do in mid-March? How about this, how about that? Um, I just went out to lunch for the first time in forever with my dear sweet sister Chrissy and our wonderful best friend Florence and it was so fun to put an outfit together. I was actually in um, L'Artiste shoes that they both loved. But there is something, um, for my birthday my sister gave me my Travels with Mrs. Kennedy by Clint Hill. I highly recommend it. It is the most amazing book. I sat down and was a little late for work because I was you know, reading it before I came in. To me this is a very first lady classic fashion kind of look. This is a Michelle Obama kind of look. Like this is just so classic. And here's this cute little dress that you would wear with this, but I'm also loving it with jeans. Like sometimes it's hard to find the right heel to go with a jean. But then Alicia, how comfortable are these on the inside? Right? They're so, so comfy. They're all padded. So underneath, and again, these are all leather. This is leather inside, leather outside, just like we talked about with our spring step. Ms. Moo's father-son team, and now the little grandson is so cute. He's maybe about three now, and sometimes he pops up in our virtual meetings. Um, they had a store in uh, New York, really thinking about women that needed to work on walk on cobblestone streets and up and down um, you know, the, the sidewalks and down the metal steps and to the subway, and we need to have beautiful shoes that we can feel secure and beautiful in. These are brand new, and they are flying. So we only started with 400 and I really wish we had more, but we don't. So if you want this in the black, which please never, ever, ever, ever donate these or get rid of them because they are a timeless classic. 
Four dozen left. I have never seen a Ms. Ms. like this before. Guys, if you're listening, Christy, please do more. Then I have it on in this gorgeous cobalt blue with the wrapped heel. That's last call. There's only two dozen, and you do have that EVA outsole. Loving the wine. Like, that's a perfect one to buy now, wear now, and wear then. Only four dozen, and Alicia has been rocking this very rare, hard-to-find, beautiful white shoe. Three dozen. Now, anybody want to hear dumb shoe trivia? Okay, thank you for saying is... Alicia is so kind. Because <laughs> everybody, she said yes. Everybody else was like, no. Okay, I know this from Amy O'Selkin, so like she really is the keeper of the knowledge with shoes. But they used to call this a penny loafer because like the, the it was actually a men's loafer, like I guess back in the 30s and so, 30s and 40s, and they would put a penny in this slot so like they could make a phone call. Can you imagine? Like there's people now that don't even know what a phone booth is, <laughs> right? It's like, what did you used to do? I'm like, I used to go to phone booth and put my quarters in and call home and say hi to mom and where I was at the beach with my friends. So they literally would put a penny in there. That's why they were called penny loafers so they could make phone calls. That just really changed your life and your night, didn't it? <laughs> but I'm delaying the inevitable because this gorgeously crafted in all leather, lined in leather, rare style is flying. We started with 400, here's what's left. In the black, a dozen. In the cobalt, fewer than a dozen. I feel like I'm counting down, um, artis not artisan crafted, um, the Vault Discovery Gems with Peyton Kelly. If you want the wine, in the wine, three dozen, and in Alicia's white, final one dozen. So get the wine if it's in your size. They're about to go. And by the way, they're new. They rarely come back in stock this year, and they often don't come back in stock next year. So a lot of new and more 